Hey guys, it is Melanie Pearson. I am here interviewing another business owner here in East London. And when I walked in, I've been here several times, but recently there's been a ownership change and I know Cindy from previously. She owned a previous restaurant that um, I had gone to. And so here she is at, and what is the name of your restaurant? You are at the Spare Parts Diner. Spare Parts Diner. So we are at Gore and Clark Road. So what a great place. We are loving it here. It yeah. is awesome. It is small and cozy. We love the locals. We've, uh, we came into a restaurant that was already busy with a great clientele. And um, a lot of our old customers from our previous place have been finding us. So it's been a really good experience. So fun. I just attached it this morning. So Spare Parts is one of my favorite places to go for brunch. It's on the east side. It's tucked away. Um, and uh, just you're not going to regret having breakfast here. There's no doubt about it. So by all means, you have to come down, check this out, say hi to Cindy, say hi to Bill if you can find him. Um, and if you can't, you can say hi to him anyway. We might sneak a photo or two. Okay, guys, uh, we'll talk a little bit more to Cindy later. Okay, Cindy, I need to know about this wall. Well. What is going on here? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of obvious, but I need a little bit more info. So, long story short, Bill and I have always been big Grateful Dead fans. So, we actually got engaged at the Grateful Dead over 30 years ago. So, they've always been a big part of our lifestyle and our we just have fun with it. Um, we have gone to concerts our whole life. Um, so when we were looking for a kitchen for our catering and other adventures and we came across Spare Parts Diner, when we came in it was meant to be. The previous owners, Matt and Kristen, are deadheads and you know there was things scattered through the restaurant. The universe sent us this way for sure. Um, so anyways, this was just a lot of our stuff from home. And then this piece actually Matt and Kristen had framed for us. And this was a really special show to us because this is a show we went to years ago in 2017 with all three of our adult children. So it was a really special show for us and then they gifted us that not even knowing. So it's just been a lot of really cool uh, connections here for us. We've really enjoyed meeting all these people and it does feel like we're meant to be here. This is, that's awesome. Like, that's so awesome. I love the it's fact so that you have this wall. The minute we walked in, it attracted us to come back here, for sure. I know there was a lot of Grateful Dead fans that, you know, frequented it and got a kick out of, you know, just me. Deadheads like to hang with deadheads, so it's just been fun. That's awesome, that's awesome. I want to hear about your business right now because it's more than this cute little diner, isn't it? Well, uh, since we did um, try to downsize from our last restaurant, uh, we did really want to slow our pace down. Um, and we've always catered in London um, through the doghouse and other, uh, and other venues. Um, to carry that on. As I said, we needed the kitchen, which led us here. And we've also purchased a food truck. So that's a little bit on the back burner right now because our, shift, our focus shifted a little bit once we got here. But we're uh, anxious to get that out into the community as well. So everyone knows I'm a huge supporter of the East End. I love my neighborhood and I love the businesses in it. So I want to know, why Argyle? What do you feel about this neighborhood? Well, we've been so blessed out here. I do love this. We've always lived in the East End of London, but about, I think, three years ago now, before COVID, um, we, uh, we did move back to the Argyle area. We live really close to the brand new East Lions Park which has been just fantastic to have that in, uh, have that in our neighborhood. My husband grew up um, very, very close to where we live now, so we've kind of come back to our roots, it feels like he's come back home again. Uh, we have a lot of family in this area, a lot of close friends in this area, and I just love, I love Argyle Mall, I love all the businesses around me. I'm a big thrift shopper. There's so much thrifting out this end of town. Um, we just, we love it. I love the people. Um, there's just such a friendly, easygoing vibe, hardworking, 
relaxing vibe. Like mm. there's just so much. Yeah, sure. I just I just love this end of and town. I'm, I really do. I'm guessing that that means that Bill was a dirt road student. He was a Clark Road yeah, boy. Yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I mean, we all know each other. You practically see us from a distance, right? I mean, I'm not Clark Road. I was Cabot Central, but. Um, it didn't matter. I was an East End kid to some some extent too in those days. So nice. yeah, it is a great end of town. It and, is. The, and the businesses are like this, like yeah, no, so it's, creative and so cool, right? It seems to be really I am flourishing. I'm so the glad last you guys are out here. So are we? It's I'm been such so a good fit. For glad us. I accidentally found you again. <laughs> this is making me so happy. I might have to be at brunch this weekend. <laughs> Oh yeah, for sure. It's for been sure. great. It's been nice and busy for sure. Yeah. Thanks it. so much for sitting and talking with me about all of this. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> well. I warned you it wasn't going to be so bad. <laughs> I wasn't sure what we were up for here, but this has been good. <laughs> okay, right on. Thanks guys. Thanks for awesome. always tuning Thank in. Thank you. Cheers.